if I put this little bracket back on at the top here where it was, that means that the clock is going to be tight against the wall and the speaker here is going to be very muffled compared to what it could be anyway. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a couple of, uh, actually three little brackets. Uh, I guess you call them brackets. One at the top here and there'll be one down here, another one here. And they will hold the uh, clock out from the wall about three quarters of an inch. At least that's the plan. This is the product that I've been using for the last 30 to 40 years for when it comes to staining, or in this case, putting a layer of wax on. I'm not saying that this is the best. You're probably using something different. And if you like it, stick with it. It's probably just as good. I'm going to be refinishing just the part that's going to be seen through the glass door, which is the lower part. No use doing the upper. No one sees it anyway. Normally I would leave this for a couple of hours, but I really do want to get this done tonight. So I'm kind of getting a little impatient here. Yeah, if I don't watch it, I'm going to get choked up again. Well, I don't see any reason why I can't put the back on now. I don't need it off anymore. You know, that's not 100% true. I will have to take it off again because the bracket that I'm going to put on the top here, I don't want to rely on just the glue to hold it on. I want to have screws coming up from the other side, going into the piece of wood that's going to go here, just in case the glue was to let go, which over time it could well do. Okay, why the weird camera angle? Well, I just want you to see that I'm not going to cut my fingers off here. realize this says dark walnut but it's not um, what it is is a combination of three or four other cans that I had and I poured it all into here now my thinking on this is to not let it get into the pores because this wood will bleed for oh, as much as a couple of days if you get it soaked in all I want to do is just sort of just darken it a little bit here now I have not done the back where it's going to go up against the case. 
The reason being is I want to make sure the glue is going to stick to it. This wood right here, it was also uh, stained, but this goes back, oh, well over 20 years ago. And I would think it's pretty dry. It won't be greasy if you know what I mean. Now, let's just get rid of this right here. This might help a little bit. I know I said this before, nobody's going to see it from the back anyway. I'll just darken it so it won't show up so bad. And I'll do the same with this. Yeah, that improves it a lot. Now you've noticed this thing on the bottom probably already. Now I was going to try and pull that off, but I gave it quite a pull and it didn't want to come. I got a feeling that I must have glued it on. The purpose of this was so that with the mechanical movement, in order to get the beat regulated just right, occasionally the clock had to be just slightly crooked on the wall and then we put a nail in and it would just sort of hold it at that angle because once it got uh, bumped the clock would uh, not work properly if it got you know off its best angle now I know there is a way to you know adjust that but with this particular movement it was pretty hard okay this time I wait, waited till the bubbles got to the top here Well, I didn't time it, but it's got to be about a minute. And I think if I have it about three inches in on each side, it shouldn't be able to be seen. Now the grain and the wood on this back, it really throws you because it uh, makes you think, right now I think I have to have this like this, but uh, I've already done a little bit of uh, measuring up here so I know I don't. I'm not just eyeballing it, I've actually measured it. No, I don't think that's going to slither around. I will check it out in about half an hour, then I can put the screws up from the other side. And I might want to use this stick again. I've actually used this stick several times. Okay now, about 45 minutes has passed here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's, that's about normal. Now, if I had been using my head, I would have drilled this out, for these holes at least, before I glued this little piece on here. But I guess I gotta, you know, schlep this whole thing over to the drill press anyway. You know, maybe I should have those holes a little bit lower. Although, mind you, this is oak. It's not gonna pull out. Well, maybe I better go a little lower. Let's see, they were going to be there. I think I'll go down here. You can still, still get the nail in there to hook it on the wall. Okay. Yeah, that'll be safer. Okay. Now, to come in from the back, uh, See, we'll go this way. So if I have a screw at the four inch, four inches down, and one and a half. So one and a half and four. I think I can remember that. Okay. 
Okay, one and a half and four. Better just make those a little easier to see. I know where they are now, but when I get to the drill press, I probably won't be able to find them. Okay, these first two, they don't need to go right through and out the other side, so I've got the uh, drill press adjusted so it won't go right through. Okay, there's the one hole, and there's the other one. Yeah, I think that should be okay. Okay, I got my slip clutch adjusted, got my screws all in place. I should be able to just zip these through like I was in a tire shop putting on lug nuts. Okay, now these ones here, I'm going to do something special there. Now these were the screws that originally held this little plate on. However, they're kind of short. I'm going to use these longer ones because they will partially go down into this oak here. Just make it a little stronger. At least that's my thinking. So I'm just going to drill in the rest of the way here. I'll snug this up by hand later. I wish there was a little pull tab on these things. Okay, now the idea of this, I think probably, should I have it up there? Yeah, um, hmm, we're down here. I'll have it up here, I guess. Now the idea is, as you can imagine, it'll help to keep these screws here from digging into the wall.
Okay, we're getting very close to being done here, and it's a good thing. It's uh, 1.36 already. I still got to put a little bit of wax on the other side and clean the glass. I was getting all ready to put the door on, and then I realized I don't even have the hands on. And to have the hands on, and just the hands, I gotta have the movement up and running. So, oh by the way, these uh, uh, cheap carbon batteries, they're not the ones that I'm gonna deliver to my daughter. I've got some nice alkaline batteries that I'm gonna put in it, brand new ones of course. Yeah, well, I guess now's the time to get the hands on. Okay, the hour hand has to go on first, and we'll adjust it later. Okay. Now let's find the top of the hour. Well, that was it. I was lucky. I had a 50-50 chance. I'll get the hour hand adjusted here. Like so. Okay, I'll leave it at 10 to 5. Or is it 550? No, you know what? It's 550 I'm supposed to put it to. Okay, there we go. Now the next one that should ring after I put the batteries in will be 6 o'clock. Well, we'll see. I can always change it later. One of the hardest things I had to do just now was find a place to hang it. My walls are all full of tools and everything. Anyway, we're up and running. Put the batteries back in. And, uh... We should be able to listen to it. It's uh, kind of precariously hung up there. So I have to be careful that I don't drop it and then have to rebuild it. So let's see what it sounds like. That's right, six. Okay, I got it right. Well, I guess uh, that's about it for this series. I imagine I'm going to be getting a call from my daughter in about a year or so, and she's going to say, Dad, it's, I can't hear it, and the pendulum stopped. And I'll say, well, I'll come over with some new batteries. And I'll put them in for her, and maybe she'll say, Thanks, Dad, would you like a piece of pie? And I will say, I don't mind if I do. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>